Okay, so continuously compounded interest. Page 306. The important part is continuously because unlike daily or <laughs> monthly or quarterly or yearly, it's happening less than every second. It's being continuously compounded, always changing. And the formula is A equals hertz, P E to the RT. A is still the amount accumulated. which is also, remember, what you, the amount you get out. P is still the principal. Which is what you put in. Easy. R is your, your rate as a decimal, and then t is your time. <clears throat> now, it shouldn't matter years or hours or whatever, because it should be part of the problem and should tell you. But if we have to change it, we'll get to it. So a equals p e to the rt, or pert. You just say pert with the a equals there. The amount you get out, the amount you put in is next to the e, your rate, and your time. So let's look at the bottom of the page. And let's write down the important information for number seven on page 306. Can I erase just this bottom part? Or you still need it? So I'll go slowly. So start writing down the important information. Because if it's a word problem with a formula, we want to list out what we know so we can figure out what variable we're missing. All right, so number seven at the bottom of the page. It says, you deposit $4,250. OK, so I deposit it in. Did I take it out, or did I put it in? Put it in. All right, so P equals $4,250. Sorry, my fives are pretty bad on this whiteboard. Into an account that earns 5% annual interest compounded continuously. So those are the key words. So 5%, what's my rate? 5%, is it 0.5 or 0.05? 0 0.05, 05. very good for the video class. And then compare the balance after 10 years with the accounts in example three. All right, so we need to know the balance after 10 years, and we can go back and read example three. So time is 10 years. All right, so what are we solving for? A or E? A. a, good, that was a trick question. So A is question mark. Okay, so in your calculators, you're going to type in 4250E to the, so that's second LN, should be for everybody, shift or second LN, and then 0 0.05 times 10. Some of you are going to need parentheses for the 0 0.05 times 10, you will, okay? Some of you will not. If your calculator already gives you the exponent as small little scripts and it actually puts your cursor up there, you'll be fine. All right. And we good on this because I want to switch to my calculator. So on the main screen, we're going to do 4250, second LN. Mine goes up there, so I don't need parentheses. Or you could do uh, 0 0.05 times 10 in your head. I'm getting $7,000, $7,007.07, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7.07. Sound good? Yes. Cool. So, all right. So that's how much money we get compounded continuously after 10 years. All right, so let's go on.